right guys this is the video that everybody's been waiting for i keep getting so many dms and messages and comments saying that people want this video asap um so here we go i was trying to wait until i had a good amount of notes to kind of show you um my method with and I was also trying to wait until I figured out a better way to film this, but I'm just holding my phone and it's gonna be a little rocky sometimes, but that's fine. People really want the video and I don't know, I've put it off for such a long time, so I'm finally going to do it. So I'm going to show you exactly how I take notes, obviously. Um, so I use the app GoodNotes. Um, I really, really love this app, GoodNotes. It is, um, I believe, $7. $7 is in my head for some reason. I'm pretty sure that it is $7. When you open it, um, you can make, you can do a lot of different things with uh, good notes. So I put everything into folders, but you don't have to do that. Um, whenever you're creating something new, you can do any of these things. Um, so you can even use this app to draw on pictures. Um, you can do a bunch of different things with this app. So I just choose to put everything into folders because I like organization, I like it to be clean, and I like to easily be able to know where stuff is. So first of all, I have Dance 2020 and Spring 2020. So those are my two current folders that I'm working out of. Obviously one is for dance, one is for school. And then I have past semesters and then I have old dance notes. And then I have some YouTube notes. Um, I occasionally do stuff with that, but not very often. It's mainly, it was mainly when I was getting going, I wrote down a bunch of ideas and stuff. Um, and so that is really what the YouTube folder is for. So I'm gonna show you my spring 2020 folder. It's got um, all of my classes in here as well as just another random notebook um, in case I wanna write something down. So I will say that I set up a notebook for each of my classes, but for this class, this class, and this class, I don't really take notes. So when you create a, a folder, or sorry, a notebook in your folder, you can pick which direction you want it to go. You can pick from all of these different different ones. So let's say that we want this one. And then you can pick what kind of paper you have. And you can pick what color paper. Um, some people want white, some people want yellow. I like using yellow because then I can write in white on the yellow if I want to do that. So I always go, oh, you can also go with a dark gray if you just wanna write in white, that's pretty cool. Um, but I always go with yellow and I also always go with the Cornell. I used to do legal, which is just, you know, your normal, it's your normal, it looks like a sheet of notebook paper. And then I moved into blank, which was a big mistake. And then I tried dotted, which is exactly what it sounds like. And I ended up on Cornell and this is my favorite. So we're gonna hit create. Um, obviously, I could have put a title with it too, <laughs> but we're gonna hit create. You can draw something on the front if you want to. Um, whatever, doesn't matter. That's awful writing, my gosh. Um, and then you have this. So the way that I usually do my notes is um, at the top, I like right here, I would put um, the date over here. I would put the lecture number and who is teaching. I have a couple different classes where there is multiple teachers and so you get different teachers on different days and so I would always write down who it is that's lecturing. And then in the middle, I might put a title or I might put um, like announcements. Then this big block here is for my actual notes. This little block over here is for the main points or again, announcements. And then down here is either a summary or if I have some questions, I put them down here. Or if I just run out of room up here, it flows down into down here, which does not happen very often. Um, so, so that I don't have to try to write, um, I'm going to show you some of my actual notes. So here we have some um, science notes. So just like I said, date, um, announcements, lecture number, um, who is lecturing, our chapter number to read, 
main points and then actual notes. And I really, really like this because you can zoom in so big so that when you're writing, it's, you know, it feels just like you're writing on a piece of paper and then you can zoom out and it's just all nicely done. Um, I also like that you can do pictures. You can, I mean, you can draw pictures. Um, you can highlight stuff. That's how I fill in these guys. I draw them and then I highlight the middle and it kind of just creates a little transparent color. Um, whew, you can do this kind of stuff, which is like very tiny. Um, also what's cool is you can rearrange stuff. So like I hit the lasso tool and then if I don't want this here, I can just like drag it away or I can make it closer or I can even color it a different color if I want that to be blue for some reason, boom, all of a sudden it's blue. And it's very, very easy. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on GoodNotes, so I'm not trying to make this a tutorial. I'm just trying to show you why I like this so much. So like for example, when I was building this thingy, I would have done, you know, a circle. And if you hit that button, it makes things perfect. It makes it a perfect circle. And then I can go to my highlight, my highlighter, and just kind of fill in the middle. And then it's a little transparent color and I can write, you know, whatever I wanted to write on there. Um, and A plus. I'm sorry, my writing is so bad because I'm like looking through my phone screen to make sure that I get it. And so, yes, but you get the idea. Um, it is very, very versatile. There's lots of things that you can do with it. Um, I really, the best part, honestly, for me is that you can move stuff around because you can make things smaller. Um, if I wrote something too big or too small, you can just resize it like that and um, it becomes that size. So I, it is just, it is just so amazing. Um, I'll also show you these notes. These are obviously, there's no pictures for these because um, this is public relations. It's just all information. Um, and so I, that's how I do it. There's not much to it. Um, as far as taking notes on my iPad, I absolutely love it. I have one of the paper-like screen protectors on the way, which if you haven't tried out one of those, I highly recommend it. Um, it makes your screen feel like it's paper. And so you can, it puts a little bit of drag on the pencil. It's not like slippery. Um, so in reality, you'll be able to write faster and it will feel better. Um, and it will also obviously protect your screen. So, um, yeah, I have one of those on the way. I'm looking forward to it being here. Um, and so there we go. I had a question about like, is it weird to take notes in class with other people around you who aren't taking notes on their iPads? Like, is it weird to take notes on this when everyone else is taking notes on their notepads? And no, it's not weird at all. Um, I'm taking notes just like they are and a lot of them are really fascinated by this and they ask me questions. Um, I also get a lot of compliments about how I do it. Something that I don't actually spell out in this video, but probably should, is that when I'm in class, I'm writing pretty quickly. Um, a lot of these notes were taken in class and they weren't touched up, but about half of them, after I get back from class or get out of class, I go ahead and retouch them up so that I can read them easier. So as far as writing with the Apple Pencil, try to practice writing in a way where your letters don't touch. But if you write on your iPad and don't make the letters touch, it will look so much nicer and it will be so much easier to read. Um, and you can see that probably 95% of the time my letters don't touch each other. So you can write really tiny but kind of space it out a little bit more and that will help you a lot. And also I always like to have a summary block at the bottom so that I can kind of think about that lecture after class and think like, you know, what what did all of that mean and kind of tie it back together. Um, even though that doesn't have to do with note taking really, I just thought that I would throw that out there that, you know, I like seeing the summary at the bottom. I like doing the summary at the bottom. Um, and then, you know, the main points on the left, the notes on the right, just I like having it that way because it helps me learn a lot easier so I thought that I would throw that in there since I never actually talk about it in this video.
when I, when they see me writing and then I zoom out and they're like, oh my goodness, like those notes are phenomenal. And yeah, I've talked a lot of people into buying iPads themselves when they see me in class taking notes. Um, it blows a lot of people's minds. They think it's amazing. And then I show them this whole situation that I have with all my notebooks and everything and I show them about how I don't have to take notebooks to class I just take a couple little ones in case of um, in class activities or emergencies and how I have all my notebooks right here and how it's just super easy and everybody that sees me usually thinks it's amazing and since I go to a big university I do have the occasional person in class that's also using their iPad um, I have usually one or two other people in each of my classes that is also doing this. So yeah, it's not, it's not weird. It's not like, I don't know. I never really thought about it being a weird thing. I kind of felt a little strange in the beginning because you feel like people are looking at you because they are, because they're intrigued by <laughs> what you're doing. Um, but it's not because they think it's weird. It's because they also want an iPad and they think that it's really, really cool what you're doing. So yeah. That is it. This is a really short video because there's not much to it. Hopefully you guys got what you wanted out of this and you got to see how I take notes and everything. So yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to drop me a comment. I will respond to you as fast as I can. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.